This area is called Pittsmore. It's a very well known area in Sheffield. Okay. And um, he was known. He was always nice cars, jewelry. Yeah. Sometimes if he saw us in the park, give you a little five, ten pounds to go shop, get chicken and chips, whatever. Yeah, Sweet yeah. So anyway, one day I'm with my brethren in his yard now, mm. and the older brother has come in. We're playing FIFA, chilling. He's like, "Oh, Moses, do you want to make a bit of change quick?" So I'm thinking, "Yeah, like, what do you want me to do, though?" He's literally giving me a rucksack. He just said, "Run across into the park." You're going to see a man on the bench. Give the man this bag, but do not look in it, and I will give you £50. I'm thinking, £50 cash. Now, I come from not a great home. Yeah. Um, £50 is a lot of money for me. Yeah. At, w- kids, at what age? This is year eight. I would say year eight, so year about nine. 13, 13 14. 14. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of money. I'm thinking £50 to yeah. go there, to just drop that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Done it. I'll be honest, I didn't even look in the bag. Mm. I was so naive. For, let me just drop it, come back, two mm. minutes. Give me two twenty pound notes and a ten pound note, fifty mm. pound. Mm. I was happy. Gas mm. ringing my bridges. Yeah, fifty pound. Link me. Da, 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 da. Mm. That has gone in space of a minute. Mm. But what happened from there? He continued to kind of contact me. Mm. Say, look, do you want to come make another fifty? Da, 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 da. Mm. In a nutshell, he turned me into his drug runner. Okay. Now, when I got into my field of work that I'm doing now with young people, mm. I learned about the process of grooming. Mm-hmm. Something that I never really thought had happened to myself. Mm. But when I reflect and I look back at the scenarios and what happened, it mm. was basically grooming. Okay. Yeah. As uh, I said, I was around a lot of Yemenis, a lot of Somalis growing up in Sheffield. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do you know Islam already? I knew kind of mm. the attributes mm. of Islam by going to my friends' houses, seeing mm. how they operate, mm. hearing and learning certain things, seeing them pray, etc. Mm. Growing up, I was a Christian. Mm. That's a whole other story, to be fair. Mm. The sto- <laughs> The reason why my name is Moses, mm. going back to my mother and father, my father was a Jew, okay. following Judaism. Okay. My mother was a Christian. Mm. The whole reason why they broke up mm. was because my, mo- my father wanted my mum to become a Jew. Okay. So I used to go to certain Jewish gatherings, mm. have to wear a kippah, a small hat, mm. Star of David mm. growing up. And my mum explained to me, it got to a point mm. where I couldn't do this anymore. Mm. She felt uncomfortable. It wasn't her belief. She was doing it for him. Mm. Um, and they kind of departed. Mm. And well I made a decision to go down the wrong path again. Oh, wow. Which was something I majorly regret. Mm. It was a complete change. Mm-hmm. Like I said, when I was in prison in Bullingdon, mm. I was sat there one night mm. and I was thinking, how have I ended up mm. sitting with scholars in Medina mm. to now sitting in a cell mm with a spice head. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. Um, Nothing. Anyway, there for a couple of weeks, they now said, you're going on to the main wing. Mm. I said, what wing am I going on? They said, D wing. Mm. I'm asking the other guys on the introduction, what wing are you going? C, B, D, A. I'm saying, well, I'm going on D. They're like, oh, D's a bit mad, you know? (laughs) I'm like, is it? Mm. Like, yeah, mad things happen over on D-Wing. I'm Mm. like, come, 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 come. Playing it cool, playing Mm. it cool. (laughs) Yo, Gov's come to get me now. Mm. I've got my bag. I'm walking, obviously I'm tall, innit? Mm. I'm just thinking, if I've got beef with anyone, if my Mm. people's got beef with anyone, am I gonna, rah, playing it cool. Bro, as I'm walking through the jail, D-Wing, I'm hearing, like some some chanting. Yeah. I'm thinking, right. I'm well, as you get into D Wing. As I'm getting to okay, D Wing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying to the gov, oh gov, what's what's D Wing like? Mm. She's like, boy. I'm thinking, nah, not you as well. <laughs> not <laughs> Is it that bad? Mm. She's like, yeah, it's not the greatest. So I've arrived. Now when I've arrived, it's social time. Mm. So you've got the different spurs, right? One, two, three. I'm in the middle. Mm. Yeah. Everyone's looking down, looking down, mm. looking around, thinking, oh, it's a problem playing it cool mm. now all of a sudden they figure out what spur I'm going on mm. one brother has shouted yo Moses mm. but I'm looking around thinking oh. yo looking up it's my boy okay my boy Pimp okay. from, from Whitley in Reading okay. known him for years but he was in jail yeah so I'm like yo yo what's good he's come running mm. saying God put him on my put him on my wing mm. put him on my wing mm. Like, yeah, yeah, put me over there. Put me over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, is what, yeah. this is what I thought was mental. Mm. So he was on Spice. Mm. He was leaving jail, mm. but he had no money to his name. He wanted to make a quick buck. Mm. 
he's teamed up with this other brother. I think he was from Newby or Thatcher. And again, a spice head. Mm. They've said, raw. there was a guy from London, big, black, known. I think he was from Harlesden. Mm. He was on the bottom, the mm. bottom spur in himself. Mm. He's like, my man's got a phone. Mm. Phone's worth about five bills, let's mm. say. Let's rob him. Mm. These two have gone down social time. Yeah. Burst up in his cell. Locked it. Govs don't have a clue. Mm. Yeah. Stab up the guy. Stabbed him, stabbed him, stabbed him. The guy, so the, the beds in jail are like metal. They're drilled to the floor. Mm. So he's gone under the bed to make it as hard as possible for mm. them to get. Mm. Bro, what's happened, because they were high and intoxicated when they done this, mm. the brother from Newby, whoever, mm. has ended up stabbing his brethren oh, wow. by accident. Okay. Dirty a slice down the face. Wow. Yeah. And who was leaving? The brethren was leaving. Was about to leave. The one with the slice on the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, was about, about to, leave. to leave. Yeah, yeah. So he's leaving with the slice on the face. Mm. He got the phone. Mm. I'm not going to say where it was kept. Mm. He went somewhere to get it. Mm. Gave it to a next man. Got the money transferred into his people's oh, account. Then, it? Brother, that's one thing I learned about jail. Mm. Doesn't matter who you are on road. Mm. Anyone can get it. Anyone and everyone is the same. Okay. No, I don't see no one f- feared. Yeah. Big man, little man, yeah. crackhead. Mm. Old man, it doesn't matter. It's close, con- close contact, isn't it? It don't matter. It's yeah, yeah, it's close contact, close contact. It's yeah, yeah. Every man for themselves. Oh, yeah. so mm. I've come out, mm. gone to probation. Mm. Probation, like, what do you want to do career wise? I said, look, I want to work with young people. I'll be real. You see the time when I going back to the youth workers stopped me from yeah, yeah, yeah. the Somalis. Yeah. That really yeah. hit my heart. Touch, yeah, it touched you. Yeah. And it showed me like what this guy is about. Mm. Anyone could do it, mm. but this particular man. So I said, I want to work with young people. I said, no, mm. you've got a record, you can't. I said, huh? I said, yeah, I can. But who would be more qualified? I'm saying, yeah, I can, though. Mm. Like, they're like, no, it doesn't work. Be a, be a, be a, um, be a bricklayer. Mm. That, that type of like, construction. Mm. I said, no, I don't want to do that. Mm. Anyway, I ended up forgetting probation. You're not going to support me. Um, and a friend of mine, mm was doing some charity work, mm. giving out food to the homeless. I was inspired by this. I liked it. And um, teamed up with him, told him my idea that I want to start a football club. And um, I ended up going to Reading Community Trust, which is part of Reading Football Club. Mm-hmm. Met a gentleman called Richard Whip. He's a very well-known guy in Reading. He does a lot of work in the community. Name sounds familiar. Very well-known. And um, I pitched him my idea said, I want to start a football club. has to have a charity vibe to it. I need help. I have no footballing background. Mm. I kicked ball when I was young, but I've not this academy or nothing like that. Mm. I don't even know where to start. Furthermore, I need to find players, mm. manager, basics. Mm. He said, we will provide you with the facilities. Hello. So, uh, um, yeah, and then I had an interview. They called me. Mm. I said, you've got the job. Mm. SubhanAllah, this was life changing brother mm. yeah i was thinking wow these people believe in me mm. started working for st giles i was there for about sh- a year or two years what were you doing so i was going doing assemblies mm. based on knife crime mm. county lines mm. drug running mm. realities of prison mm. all from a lived experience angle by telling my story mm. and using the content that they provide mm. i was going up and down the uk oh wow Somerset. I've done a lot of work in Wales, mm. Bristol, mm. everywhere. Mm. 